Here are my top tips for first time land buyer. Number one, ask yourself this question. Why do you want to buy land? Why do you want to buy it now? And what are you going to do with it after you buy it? What's your plan? A lot of people get caught up in the emotion of buying land. They see uh, friends or family that have purchased land, has people wanting to run for the hills and find a place off grid or whatever the reasons. Getting an answer to those three questions will help you know just how serious and committed you are about buying land. So there's a lot to it and you need to make sure you're truly committed. Second thing, use a title company. There are so many people that want to buy land, they want to buy a big expensive piece of property, they want to do all this stuff and then get cheap on the process. Don't get cheap. Use a title company to close your property so that they can do a complete title search, they can make sure all the documentation's right, they can make sure the property is free and clear, they can make sure that what you're buying becomes a true blessing to you and not a burden. And use a title company, not your best friend's lawyer. There is a difference. You have an attorney who's got a full court schedule because that's primarily what they do and they do some real estate on the side. You don't want that guy. Not to say that they're not capable, but they're not locked in. You need a title company that makes their living, that does business closing real estate deals. They'll be more efficient. They won't miss things. They will get stuff done. Number three, buy owner's title policy. I said this is for first time land buyers. If you're a pro and you're an investor and you bought a lot of properties without title insurance, hey, that's fine. I've done the same thing. I don't always use title insurance, but we're talking to first time buyers here. There are too many things that can go wrong. You make sure you tell your title company that you want an owner's title policy policy, my top selling book, Land Buying Tips from the Pros, Chapter 8, Do I Need to Buy an Owner's Title Policy When Buying Rural Real Estate? It was written by an attorney who owns a title company. He gives a very detailed explanation as to the process, as to the ins and outs, the whys of title insurance. I'm not promoting my book. I'm promoting the idea that title insurance for first-time buyers is an important concept. Hey, number four, know your financial limitations. When you go to buy property, you need to ask yourself one of two questions. Am I paying cash? If so, that's your financial limitation. That's your budget. How much cash do you have? Or am I going to use financing? And if you're financing, you need to be prepared to pay 15 to 20% down and then finance the rest. But make sure you know what your payment will be before you get into it. Pat, how do I know that? I'm not a banker. Folks, it's just so simple. Go online. Pick up your phone, open the browser, and just type, how do I figure my monthly payment? There are so many mortgage calculators out there that you can use in a matter of seconds that are free. And you just answer the questions, pop in the numbers, and it'll calculate a monthly payment. It'll calculate the entry. It'll calculate all the details so that you can know is a land purchase within your budget. You'll see what that monthly payment is. You know what your down payment's got to be. You can know then, is this something that I can do now and I can do it comfortably or do I need to wait a while? Hey, number five, do not do owner financing. Now, I'm, I know that there are options out there that you can do some owner financing or lease purchase and not have to use a bank, and it's tempting, but I'm telling you, there are too many pitfalls in that added to the fact that you're already making a big purchase, doing something you haven't done before. Don't bring that into the equation. Either pay cash, use conventional financing where you buy the property outright and then have a mortgage or a note or a deed of trust. Avoid the pitfalls, avoid the dangers of owner financing, especially as a first time buyer. Number six, get some outside advice. Now I know you're knowledgeable, you know a lot of things about land, you know a lot about what you want. Getting some outside information is never a bad thing. Ask some professionals, ask some land people, ask some real estate folks, ask some landowners, talk to people, get as much information as you can, throw it all in the hopper so that you can make your best decision and maybe catch some things that would have tripped you up along the way because you didn't know it. We don't know what we don't know sometimes. And getting some outside advice is never, never an unwise thing to do. Number seven, buy something nearby. Buy something that you can jump in your truck or car and you can go drive to and you can enjoy it. You can walk around on it. You can improve it. You can do things to take care of it. You can 
can guard it, meaning your presence out there will keep trespassers away. It'll keep people from dumping uh, trash on your place. It'll keep people from going in there and cutting your timber. Yeah, that still happens today. So buying something close by is a way for you to keep your eye on it. Yeah, but it's also a way for you to go enjoy it. You can go ride four wheelers with the kids. You can go take nature walks with your wife. You can put up a feeder and, and watch wildlife. You, you, you can go do a thousand things on it. Go enjoy your property, but you can only do that if it's just down the road a little ways, if it's an hour or two away, not something that's across the country that you see once a year or maybe never get back to. There's some more videos right there that'll tell you some more stuff that'll be helpful to you. Check them out.